Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we're gonna talk about my bread and butter bolos, items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. Let's get started. Now, what you're gonna see here is, is that I picked these items up cheap and I sold them for what I consider to be a good to great profit for what I paid for it. Most of these items are gonna be easy to list, easy to ship, and easy to store. So let's get started here with the first one. It is a bunny. It is from 1998, and I sold this for a best offer of $14, but here's the kicker. I paid 25 cents for it at a garage sale. This was more of a long tail item, and what I mean by long tail is it didn't sell super fast, and you're gonna find that that's what happens with a lot of plush, but there are also plush that sell for hundreds of dollars. So if you want to learn more about big money plush, type in Bolo Buddies Big Money Plush Bolos into the YouTube search bar and it will pull those up for you. Here is a draft coffee mug. It is made in Japan. I don't pick up a lot of coffee mugs because if you've watched me for a while, you know I'm not a big fan of breakables, but I just thought this was super cute. So I decided to pick it up because it was $1 at a thrift store. I sold this for $15.50, my sale price, and the buyer paid shipping. Also, I like to pick up items that are made in Japan. Uh, I, I just feel like they do well. So these are a pair of fountain pens and did an auction on this one. Ended up going for $15, the asking price. What I do want to tell you guys is some fountain pens do go for big money. That would be a good one for you guys to research, search solds, high to low, kind of get familiar with which brands do well, certain things to look for to find the ones that go for big money. All right. So definitely be on the lookout for them, but some are bread and butter and some are big money. So do your research. The next item here is this Carter's Green Bucket Sun Hat. This is a mega bread and butter. I got this at the Goodwill bins, so it weighs next to nothing. I just thought it was cute, and I thought I'd try some clothes. It may have been in one of the challenges. I can't remember, but uh, I sold it for $5 plus shipping, so not getting rich off of this one, but easy to list, easy to ship, easy to find, and easy to store. This is a Franklin ready-to-play baseball t-ball glove. And that one came out of a thrift store mystery box. So this was not something that I sourced. It came in a toy box from a thrift store. Can't remember what I paid for the box, but probably had a dollar or less than this. Sold it for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. Blaze and the Monster Machine. This is a bigger one and it actually talks. Let me see if I can find the measurement here for you. I have sold these in the past. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents and I sold it for 13 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Lane Bryant one sleeve black blouse as seen in the photos. I've got a whole bunch of these listed. I picked these up at, I believe it was Discount Fashion Warehouse. I wanna say I paid about a dollar a piece for them. I have a bunch still listed and I sold it for $11.47 and the buyer paid shipping on that. So this is one of those, pick it up cheap, do a multi-quantity listing, and just sell them over and over and over again. So I also wanted to mention here, I do sell other clothing items. I don't really include my clothing items in my videos because like this item, there are things that I've picked up in bulk that I've sold over and over and over again, and it would get pretty boring for you guys to watch. So I do have clothing sales. I just don't put them in my videos because I still have a lot of clothing left from when I used to do retail arbitrage clothing. But I switched to hard goods. Now I'm selling jewelry on whatnot. If you guys are not following me on whatnot, definitely come over there and check it out. There's a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you wanna come hang out. And let's get back to some more bread and butter bolos. These are replacement full set six blue dice only Dungeons and Dragons starter game set. I believe I got a game and I parted it, parted it out. That's so hard to say. And I sold these for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got this at the Goodwill bin. So I'm pretty sure it was a game and it was incomplete. So this is a Klepto Cats Funko mini plush. And when I say mini, this thing is small, just a little guy. Got it at the Goodwill bin. So probably cost me less than a dollar. 
sold it for $11.16 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Hawaiian shirt. It is by Hilo Hattie, I think is how you say it. It's women's. And this came also from the Goodwill bins. I don't normally source clothing, but the Hawaiian print caught my eye and I decided to pick it up. I sold this for a best offer of $22 and the buyer paid shipping. Best Western soap. So let me tell you, I've had this in my store for probably 14, 15 years. Um, I bought a whole bunch of, I believe it was luggage. And I think these were in the luggage. And I decided to try it. I sold a bunch of that soap. There is certain soap that will sell quickly and for good money. You just got to figure out what it was or which ones they are. And I think I've done a video on it in the past. And if you've watched my videos from a long, long time ago, you saw those solds. These took forever to sell, but they're little hotel soaps and they are collectible. Ivory, look up Ivory. I think that was a good brand. I, I just can't remember. It's been a while. $4.22 plus shipping. Again, just had a whole bunch of them trying something new. And again, it was a long time ago. Vintage trash can by Philip Lauriston, England. And you could use this in a dollhouse. It's very small. And I believe it's like ceramic or porcelain or something like that. But there's your little info. I ended up taking a best offer of 15 on this and the buyer paid shipping. And this has been listed a long time also. I don't remember where I got it, but I probably paid a dollar or less for it. Monster High Doll. This is Draculaura. And she's by Mattel. She has on a skull print dress. That's my keyword. Got her at the Goodwill Benz and I sold her for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. Goodwill Benz is by weight. If you want to see me dig through the Benz, I have a whole bunch of those videos. Definitely go check them out. They're lots of fun. I pop up how I listed things, things that had or have already sold, just to give you guys an idea if you go to the Benz, how it works. This is a vintage uh, Ken jacket. And let me show you the tag. That is the tag. That's the black label. If you find that, definitely look up the item. It doesn't mean they're all going to be big money, but some of them can go for big bucks. Flippin' Friends over on Whatnot sells a lot of vintage Barbie on her Whatnot. So check out Flippin' Friends on Whatnot. I paid a dollar for this at an estate sale, took a best offer of eight, and the buyer paid shipping. This here is an Aurora Baby Pink Pony. I also got blue, and the pink sold first. I got it at the Goodwill Bins, and believe it or not, this little guy sold for $21.70, and the buyer paid shipping. So... Yes, plush does sell. But again, if you want to see those big money bolos, head over to YouTube, type in Bolo Buddy Big Money Plush, and you'll see some plush that go for crazy money. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out the description of the video for things that I use for my business. I've got some referrals and affiliates down there that will help you guys grow your business. I've got tutorials and different things down there as well. So check it out and thank you again and thanks for watching.